It's officially the first day of the sturgeon spearing season. The highly anticipated tradition brought out hundreds of people across Lake Winnebago and the Upper River Lakes today. NBC 26's Valerie Juarez takes us to the ice for opening day. It's the thrill. Yeah, it's like spearing a shark. Sturgeon spearing season is officially upon us and the excitement's only continuing to ramp up as folks begin snagging their prehistoric fish. Exhilarating, oh my gosh. After I, we got it out of the water, I was like, oh my God, I just started jumping and screaming and shouting. For Cheyenne Hop, it was her first time sturgeon spearing since her father passed away. She says it was a tradition for the two, but it took until this weekend to finally catch her first one. It's just sad he couldn't be there for me, but I like to think he sent the surgeon my way today. I know he's looking down on me and definitely is proud of me after today. And just a few miles out on Lake Winnebago, Gus Peters also got lucky. This fish here is uh, 67 inches and uh, I think it's maybe about 60, 65 pounds. I'm on the waiting to get it registered right now. He was one of the first ones to catch anything only about an hour into the season opening. Picked up the spear and just let her go. Caught her center mass. Great shot on it. Fish went to the bottom. However, others weren't as fortunate. Year after year, some sit patiently in their shanties in hope of finally getting their lucky shot. But many say it's not too bad because they're sitting comfortable. These ice shacks are a fisherman's dream come true. They have everything you need for a long day on the ice. Here, let me take you through one. I, I could live in here. If the zombie apocalypse ever came, this is all I ever need. I've got heat, I've got my black stone, I've got a TV on the wall. There's a webcam that aims down here so I can watch my TV. I've got the underwater camera so I can see my coffee cups and everything else down there. I've got a bunk, a loft up top. But Olsen hasn't caught anything in years. I mean, for someone that spears, like, I haven't seen a fish in five years. That seems about to be the average. Like, 37 years is, I think, what I'm waiting for. His comfortable accommodations and the camaraderie with his friends is what keeps bringing him back. So as he continues to wait for his lucky turn, those who did catch a sturgeon say, it's now time to feast. Probably going to smoke it, you know, cook it up, eat it, you know, love on it. <laughs> on Lake Winnebago, Valerie Juarez, NBC 26. What a sweet spot that was. Thanks, Valerie. And a cold day out on the ice it was. Meteorologist Gina